putting on a little makeup because I'm doing a location scout later today for a shoot that I'm doing for a brand for Sephora, which I'm really excited about. I think it's gonna be super fun. I have a lot of editing to do this week. I think I have like four or five projects that need to be like really wrapped up this week. I also feel like I should like hang out with somebody maybe. I've been growing on my bangs, which has been a really hard and tedious process. Um, and the thing is, I'm actually growing them out so that I can cut them again. I also went to the gym yesterday, I'm really sore. My sister got me these for Christmas. Um, also, my friend Jen got me this for my birthday and I really like it. Really good. I guess like since the last time I really talked to the camera on this channel, I literally had just graduated college. So it's been how many years since I graduated college? 2020. It's been almost four years since I graduated, but it's actually been so great. <laughs> um, it's actually been a, an amazing time. Um, I'm trying to think, basically as soon as I graduated, and this is the kicker, you know, graduated, it was a pandemic. So I couldn't like really get a job. So I kind of had this weird time where I was just kind of taking these little freelance gigs just to like be able to pay my rent and do, you know, what I need to do to survive. And I kind of just, it just kind of ended up that I just kept doing freelance. And now I'm literally, basically since I graduated college, I've been freelance filmmaker. Usually January is like a desert for work, I feel, for me at least. I usually like have maybe one project in January. This January I had like three or four. It's like been one of my busier months ever, honestly, which is such a blessing because, you know, if you're freelance, you know, like literally you just go into the next week, not even. I feel like my projects come to me within like, they're like, hit me up and they're like, we're trying to shoot next week. So I never even know like a week out what I'm going to be doing, which honestly works for me. I kind of like not having things planned out too far in advance. Like back when I first graduated college, I was shooting a lot of weddings and having something booked out like a year in advance was so stressful for me because I was like, but like, what if I have to move to Paris for some reason? date basically uh, I went to the location scout <laughs> I was 20 minutes late which is just so cool of me um, but it wasn't my fault the train was just major delayed you know how it goes so I went to the location scout I met the founder of the brand that I'm doing work with and we're shooting these series of videos in her apartment so I just took a look at what the lighting looks like, what I'll need to bring, kind of figuring out where I think I'll have her for the interview portion and like came up with some ideas for B-roll. Um, I'm really excited to try and like push the boundaries creatively on this. Then I got back home, ate some, ate some random things. I had some pita crackers. I'm kind of out of food at the moment, so anyway, I finished the edits I had for the series of videos I did for a brand called Staff. I'm uploading them right now and I'll like send them out right now. And then 
Let's see, it's 3.30 right now. Let's, let's check my to-do list. Um, well, I guess we can cross this off. Oh, and we can cross this off. So, okay. So I did a Coffee at Ralph's, which is a series I do for Ralph Lauren, um, where we interview celebrities, models, interior designers, writers, just cool people in New York. We interview them at Ralph's Coffee on the Upper East Side. So we just shot one like three days ago and I am editing it. So I'm gonna finish the rough kind of that and then that will probably take up the rest of the time I have today. And then tomorrow, bright and early, super goop. I also need to buy a light because um, I'm gonna need a light for this Sephora shoot so I don't have to rent every time. Something that I can use just as like a nice little key light for my talent. Um, and also something that I can use to like blast some like fake sunlight onto props, things like that. Um, so I think for the shoot I'm doing for Sephora, I'll probably get this, it's called the Amarin 200D. My friend said it was a good bang for your buck kind of vibe. So I think I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna get a diffuser with a grid so that I can get like a nice um, soft glow without it spilling onto the background kind of vibe for the interviews. And then I'm gonna get a Fresnel so that I can blast the light more like in a directional stream at the products that we're shooting. So I need to order that on B&H so it arrives before the shoot. Um, and then the rest I'm gonna just rent uh, some cinema lenses for my friends. And then I have my camera that I'm gonna shoot and then I'm also gonna rent another Blackmagic cinema camera for B-cam. And yeah, so okay. So what I have to do for the rest of the day is finish Coffee at Ralph's Rough Cut, and then I'm going to the movies with some friends. We're going to Mean Girls in Lincoln Center. So anyway, also check out this lens. Do you like it? It's super wide, like literally look at my hand. Um, I'm also cracked out on a Celsius right now. I already filed my 1099s. Yeah, if you worked with me last year, you got your 1099 bright and early in the new year. Um, and now I'm just waiting for all my 1099s from people I worked with so that I can file my taxes so I can know how much I owe because I didn't do a super good job of withholding them last year. So that's gonna come and bite me in the butt. But you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. But this year, I'm gonna pay quarterly taxes, I think. So big stuff in store. Okay, bye. Also, I have to show you something I just discovered. Whoa, my light has magnets. So it just sticks to stuff, it's metal. Check that out. So I could just pop that there and I can, then I can literally just use it. How crazy and like, it's pretty bright. So anyway, that's pretty major. Okay, cool, bye. Guys, I can't even express to you how much this email means to me. Whenever I get an email like this, it literally makes me wanna cry. Also, I feel like whenever I send something, I automatically am like, they're gonna hate it. I feel like nothing is ever like up to what I wish it was. And so every time I send something, I'm just like, oh, they're gonna hate it, they're gonna hate it. So it just means a lot when they say something like that. Cause I always am like, there's so many things that. My name is Sheila Bridges. Oh. I Guys, top secret, NDA, NDA. Are you vlogging? I'm vlogging this week, so say hi to the camera. Hello? Hi guys! Hello? POV, you're my egg. <laughs> Ice bath!
unexpected um i've been working on edits for super goop today and i'm just taking a mini break to eat a cereal bar and i'm gonna play one game of rummy cube on my phone then i can get back to work so that's just the update for you um yeah huge for me um, I've been kind of on a losing streak lately so anyway I'm gonna get back to work and then I'll probably probably gonna get fun later so I'll probably bring you with me hey hey babe hey can I ask you a question mm -hmm. is it stupid to spend $8 $68 right now. Okay, so update. I finished all my work. Yeah, I finished my whole to-do list and I have, it's 3.30, 3.30 to 4.30, 4.30 to 5.30. So I have like three hours to do my laundry get some pho and to maybe work a little bit on another project that I was gonna work on tomorrow but I could get like a head start on today but first I'm trying to decide if I should do pho or maybe I should do my laundry put my laundry get my pho but then by the time I get my pho my laundry will probably be ready to go into the dryer but then my pho will get cold I could let my laundry sit for a minute and eat my pho and then take it to the dryer where I could get my, okay, I could drop my laundry, get my pho, bring my pho back, my laundry will be right, okay, 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 here's what I'll do. I'll take my laundry, get my pho, go back to my laundry, move it into the dryer, come home, eat my pho, take the laundry out of the dryer. my building my downstairs neighbor uh, he opens his store and he tells me he loves me and he salsa dances every Sunday and he rings a cowbell out the window every Sunday so that's really cool anyway just thought that was a fun anecdote I should share with you okay bye yeah can I get a beef with just the brisket yeah <laughs> like 20 gigabytes of retouch footage but which I tried to download but my Wi-Fi was like so bad it kept failing like every single time 
it would like get all the way to the end and then it would fail. So basically what ended up happening is my boyfriend downloaded it at his apartment, put it on a hard drive, and then I Ubered the hard drive from Queens to my apartment. And now it's 9.30 p.m. and I can finally start linking the retouched footage. So it's gonna be a late night. Actually, you saw that. I ordered like $900 worth of stuff. It'll pay itself off. It was, you know, an investment, investment. But I'll show you that later. I also, my internet here sucks. And I have to upload a bunch of raw footage for K. Uh, so I'm going to have to go to my friend's apartment to do that because my Wi-Fi literally can't upload things. <laughs> Got it. So I just checked the mail and I got a birthday present from one of my best friends, Olivia. Um, so let's open it. She sent me a notebook for all my ideas. I'm just gonna set that right on top of the camera. Thanks, Olivia, I love it. And she sent a little handkerchief. Oh. Aww. She made me some bracelets. They're perfect, I love them. There's really nothing better than a fresh notebook. Thanks, Olivia. I love you. I miss you. I posted on Instagram asking for people who might want to be a PA, and I got so many responses, and this is like 
only like half of them I'm still going through and pulling everyone into this database. Oh, since I opened Olivia's present, a couple things happened. First, I put some stuff up on my buy nothing group in my neighborhood uh, yesterday and the lady came and picked up all the stuff that I was giving away. But then I just got really anxious. So I got in bed for a while and I sat there and I ate a can of Pringles. Um, and well, okay, it's because like 30 people emailed me at the same time and like none of it was bad. It was all like totally fine and everything's fine, but it's just like if you work with clients and you like make videos or things like that, like when they start leaving notes in your like little frame IO thing, you just start getting like 400 emails back to back of like change this, move this, do this. And so it just gets overwhelming. So I have to turn my phone on to do not disturb when that happens. It just all kind of like piles up and then I have a shoot tomorrow. So I'm always like on edge before a shoot because I want it to go like really well. I just like haven't really gotten out much this week. So I feel like I might be just going also a little crazy. So it'll be really good to be on set tomorrow, be around some people. I have a Celsius because I need to get some edits done tonight. My little anxiety hole. Anyway, I need to add captions to a video. So I'm going to go to my friend's house and add those. And then I'm gonna come back here. Actually, I might go to the grocery store because I feel like I might wanna bring some crafty to set tomorrow, um, some snacks for people. Then I'm gonna import the scripts for the teleprompter into the iPad so they're ready to go for tomorrow. Oh, looks like I left my lens cap at Failure Island today, so that's good. So, everything's okay, everything's fine. I literally just need to talk to a real person. And the thing is, is I, before a shoot, I'm just like so excited because I just, it's just a fresh slate. Like you can just try and capture something really beautiful. Okay, I just need to get out of my apartment. I'm just literally going crazy. New York City ambiance. Thank you.